Hello everybody and welcome to this American Banker webcast. My name is Travis Clark Walker and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Thought Machine. For those of you that don't know us, Thought Machine is a next generation technology provider in the categories of core banking and payment systems and our products are called Vault Core and Vault Payments. We are headquartered in London with regional headquarters in New York and Singapore. We have clients in live production states all over the world ranging from the largest tier one financial service businesses right the way through to large fintechs and everything in between. Today we have the opportunity of running a demonstration on Vault Core, the core banking system. I must stress this is a short demonstration ranging for about six minutes run by Nicholas Kerfas, one of our sales engineers from the US, but it's literally only a subset, a fraction of what the technology can do, but hopefully we'll give you a taster. So over to you Nicholas for the demo. Thanks, Travers. As you just mentioned, I'll be demoing a small segment of Vault Core's capabilities in this demo. First, I'd like to contextualize something. Vault is a, a headless API-only core that doesn't participate in user experiences or channel experiences or origination experiences like you see here on the screen. So while this UI is not part of our actual core platform, it does give us the ability to peer inside of the core without us looking at a terminal and looking at API responses, which wouldn't make for a very interesting demo. So Sarah, our avatar for this use case, has, has approached a bank and, and she's looking to, to purchase a loan. She has a couple options that she sees here in, in the portal that she's eligible for. Each of these products was built using Vault's universal product engine. What is our universal product engine? It allows us to build products all the way down from simple retail uh, you know, deposit accounts like a wallet or a simple savings account, all the way up to hyper complex you know, commercial loans, something like a syndicated loan. The way that we do this is we define every single product with Python code so that we can have complete atomic flexibility over the financial logic that is supporting that product. For example, fees, amortization schedules, uh, the, you know, the maximum number of, of participants in a syndicated loan, any of these features for any of these products are built from the ground up using the universal product engine. We get, this gives our clients ultimate flexibility in what they want to build, but also extensibility because we have a parameter framework. So as Sarah clicks in to the particular loan, she's looking at her first parameter. So our product engine allows you to define not only all the code, but the parameters that allow you to extend that code to many, many use cases. In this instance, Sarah is looking at instance level parameters or account specific parameters that give unique experiences to customers. But we also have the ability to establish many product level parameters that the customers can't see or can't negotiate which allow for many, many product types based on one product template built with code. It's this framework and this power that gives our clients the ability to not only replicate the back book with 100% accuracy of their, their uh, current core banking system, but also to offer unique experiences and completely innovative and unique products to the market uh, in record time because it is our clients who actually build these on their own. We are not a professional services arm that comes through and takes a year and costs a million dollars just to get a product off the ground. This is intended to put the product roadmap back in the hands of financial institutions. So I selected a couple different parameters here, uh, but I wanted to, to click the, on this one specifically. I wanted to take a quick look on this amortization method in code while we can. So this is what it looks like. We've defined this amortization method parameter. We can see here at the bottom, we've got a couple different uh, you know, parameters, uh, the declining principal, flat interest, uh, minimum repayment with balloon payment, some of these other things. Most of this is actually just the description of what the parameter is supposed to do, so it's not actually usable code. But I wanted to click further in, and, and we can see the first use case where this parameter is used. Without having to, to bore anyone with the actual code and, and going line by line through it, effectively what this is saying is in the event of an overpayment, there are certain amortization methods which we would like to exclude from this. So in the event of an overpayment, it would actually reject these postings. So Sarah, for whatever reason, has, has the ability to select her amortization method. I know this isn't typical, but it's these sorts of experiences that you can offer to your customers when you have this unique ability to provide any sort of parameter at any sort of level with any sort of combination of features in code, right? She's added some money to her upfront fee. She's amortized that in. She skipped a couple of things, and now we've come to the, the simulation part of the platform. I want to be clear that simulation isn't the only capability of the platform. Our platform executes account management financial accounts or transactions against those accounts, as well as 
all of the financial logic that underpins these accounts, but it also gives us the ability to simulate hyper-specific scenarios over long periods of time using our simulation framework. This actually runs through all of Vault's microservices and through the product code that has been designed by the institution and actually maps out exactly what will happen over long periods of time, event by event. So let me just run through Sarah's uh, simulation here really quickly. So the simulation of her product is finished and, and Sarah has the ability to see exactly what her amortization schedule looks like, exactly what her monthly payment amount is going to be in this EMI column over here, exactly uh, the amount of principal that she will have to pay on a given month, the exact amount of principal she will pay on a given month. This whole framework is not only a tool for you to expose to your customers so they can try before they buy, but it's also part of our extensive testing framework that comes with our out-of-the-box set of pre-configured uh, product as code products. So Sarah is satisfied with her simulation. She's going to actually open the account. Again, this this uh, action here for the KYC check is not part of the, the Vault Core um, approach, but it is something that is part of the user experience. We wanted to show this. We can now see that the $10,000 principal has had that $100 fee added because she selected that parameter to actually amortize that into her loan. And most importantly, we have here the real-time data stream. I think most of us know at this point that core banking systems of yesteryear have an issue with batch processes again getting information to downstream systems in a meaningful amount of time. Usually you have to wait for that batch to finish or you have to replicate these events externally to the core. What Vault Core does very specifically is it takes every single event that is processed within the core and streams it to our Kafka-based real-time data stream immediately. So any system external to the core has the ability to have a completely up-to-date view of any single, every single account within the platform in real time. There is no waiting. There is no processing externally. Everything is available immediately. Thank you, Nicholas, for that demonstration. And of course, as I said in the introduction, that's only a short subset of the features and functionality. Vault Core is a cloud-native, next-generation technology deployable across cloud infrastructure and SaaS. To get more information about Vault Core and Vault Payments, contact us at thoughtmachine.net. We look forward to hearing from you.